going on you guys we'll back at it again another video now i am so sorry about the lack of videos um and all the content that i usually post i'm really much more active but i've been going through some shit i've explained it in other videos i have not really gotten in depth with it but i'm gonna explain part of it right now i'm not gonna give you guys all the details of my life and my business in my life but you guys deserve to know a certain part of that because you guys you know what i'm saying you guys subscribe to me you guys show me support why not give you guys that respect and show you guys and tell you guys why I've been kind of on the other shit. Now, I'm not saying this so you guys could feel bad for me or do anything like that. I'm telling you guys this so you guys don't think I'm not putting the time and effort into my videos because I do want to put the time and effort. The biggest problem is it's just I don't want to give you guys bad mooded, you know, content. And on top of that, I'm just my mind is on a lot of shit right now. All right. And I'm about to explain why um, I have to move out of my mom's house. Um, not because of anything I did or that she did. It's nothing like that, okay? Um, there's just a certain situation where she has to go, and it's either I go with her or I stay where I'm at. Now, the reason why I'm saying I want to stay where I'm at is because I have a job here. I have bills I have to pay. So there's certain things that make me stay where I'm at, and it's hard because I'm 19 years old. I don't make enough money in you know a month to be able to really pay these type of bills i mean in theory i do like when i look at my paycheck and i look at you know all the money i make i do but it it's a hard choice to be able to just leave your mom's house rent free and on top of that being able to you know what i'm saying i have to live check to check essentially and that's hard but i really don't want to really get into that right now i'm trying to stay on the videos and and think about other things because there's just a lot on my mind right now. But let's talk about this video right here. We got Kyrie Irving, all right? Now, he wanted to initially play for the Chicago Bulls, and then he lost all interest once Jimmy Butler left. Now, that would have been a really good mix. I ain't even going front, all right? If they would have did that, I would have been like, okay, this is a step in the right direction for the Bulls, getting Kyrie and then still having, you know, Jimmy Butler. Now you're getting a squad going. It's a very respectable squad because it's not like he's just hopping on a championship-ready team. Now, I'm not saying that's bad or good, but, you know, people have their opinions. Now, I mean, it's it happens, okay? He got traded. I don't know why this wasn't really brought up because I think, you know, they probably could have got, you know, uh, D. Wade over there. D. Wade probably could have came to Cleveland. Different things could have happened. A reunite. Uh, could have happened, or how do you say that? They could have reunited LeBron and freaking Dwayne Wade. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, shit's crazy, yo. Shit is very much crazy. That would have been cool. It would have been, but it's way too late. This is one of those videos, like, it could have happened, but it didn't. But, yeah. All right, see you guys for the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And uh, comment down below what you guys think. That's going to be it. Bye.